you're watching the History Fire Channel and in this video we're looking at the Battle of Philippi. The Battle of Philippi formed part of the Western Virginia Campaign of the American Civil War and was fought in and around Philippi, Virginia on June 3rd 1861. A Union Army victory, it was the first organised land action of the war though generally viewed as a skirmish rather than a battle. The northern press, however, celebrated it as if it was an epic triumph, and this encouraged Congress to call for the drive on Richmond that ended with a Union defeat at the first Bull Run in July. It brought overnight fame to Major General George B. McClellan, and it was notable for the first battlefield amputations. As the first of a series of victories that pushed Confederate forces out of Northwest Virginia, it strengthened the Union government in exile that would soon create the new state of West Virginia. As the largely untrained Confederates had fled the battlefield with barely any resistance, the Union jokingly referred to the engagement as the Philippi Races. Colonel Kelly devised a two-pronged attack against the Confederate force in Philippi, approved by General Morris on his arrival in Grafton on June the 1st. The principal advance would be 1,600 men, led by Kelly himself, and would include six companies of his own regiment, nine of the 9th Indiana Infantry Regiment under Colonel Robert H. Milroy, and six of the 16th Ohio Infantry. In order to deceive the enemy into thinking the objective was Harper's Ferry, they departed by train to the east. They disembarked at the small village of Thornton and marched south on a back road on the same side of the river as Philippi, intending to arrive at the rear of the town. Meanwhile, the South Indiana under Colonel Ebenezer Dumont was sent to Webster, around three and a half miles southwest of Grafton. They would unite with the 6th Indiana under Colonel Thomas T. Crittenden and the 14th Ohio under Colonel Steedman. The column, with a total of 1,400 men under Colonel Dumont, would march directly south from Webster on the turnpike. In this way, the Union force would execute a double envelopment of the outnumbered Confederates. On June the 2nd, the Union columns set off to converge on Philippi. After an overnight march in rainy weather, both arrived at Philippi before dawn the following morning. Morris had planned the pre-dawn assault to be signalled by a pistol shot. The Green Confederate volunteers had failed to establish picket lines for the perimeter security choosing instead to escape the cold rain and stay inside their tents. A Confederate sympathiser, Mrs Thomas Humphreys, saw the approach of Union troops and sent her young son on horseback to warn the Confederates. As Mrs Humphreys watched, she saw Union pickets capture her son and fired her pistol at them. She missed, but her shots began the attack prematurely. The Union attackers began firing their artillery, artillery, which awakened the Confederates from their slumber. Those who were armed fired a few shots at the advancing bluecoats. Then Southerners broke and began running to the south, some still in their bedclothes. This caused Union journalists to refer to the battle as the races at Philippi. Dumont's soldiers entered the town from the bridge but Kelly's column had arrived from the north on the wrong road and were unable to block the Confederate retreat. Kelly himself was shot whilst pursuing some of the retreating Confederates, but Colonel Lander chased down and captured the man who shot Kelly. The Confederates retreated to Huntonsville, about 45 miles to the south. If you found the information in this video informative, please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel.